Hi and welcome to part two of my acoustic blues lesson for the tune Gambler's Blues by Little Son Jackson. And in the second part of the video, we're going to double back and I'm going to try to teach you the introduction, or at least what I think is the introduction, and then the end tag, the last thing that he plays to, to wind up the tune. The song is in the key of G, and I've got my guitar tuned to open G. See the first part of the first lesson to see the tuning if you're not familiar with, with open G. Now at the very beginning of the song, he goes into this lick, and I'm just going to play you my version of the introduction. When I do the acoustics lessons especially, a lot of times it's really difficult to hear on the old recordings, note for note, what they're doing. And sometimes when I hear it, I don't know what they're doing. And so a lot of times I'm just trying to teach you some of the framework of the songs so that maybe you can work on it yourself and figure it out. But let's take the introduction for little Son Jackson's Gambler's Blues. This is the way I play it when I play this tune live. It goes something like this. getting all three first, second, and third strings, but I've got my first finger on the first and second string, sliding from the second fret, you hear all three strings there, to the third fret. And when you listen to the original recording, you hear him do that. And then he's going to take his pinky or whatever finger he's using and put it on the fifth fret of the first string while keeping his first finger on the third fret first and second string. So it's like this. And while he's doing that, sounds to me like he's picking both the first and second string. So it's twice. And then maybe the second string. Or he could be getting the second and the third. Just mess around with that position and see if you can get it to sound the way you want to. And the whole time, as I enter, er, explained in the first part of the lesson, the open fifth string is our G, so that's our bass, our monotonic, we're thumping thumb bass the whole time. So one more time slowly. And I think that's pretty close to what he plays on the original. So one more time slowly. And he goes. This is a long like a long A shape. It's going to go to the, uh, what fret is that? Eighth fret of the first string, back to the fifth fret of the first string. So let me do that again. And you might even be getting the first and second strings at the fifth fret. And then an open G. So that whole leg, something very close to that. So let's play the whole thing. And that is the, the first part of the introduction. And he's just going to go back to this. So an open first and second strings. He's going to slide second to third with that first, I'm using my ring finger, getting the first and second strings at the third fret, second, third fret, and also the open G. And then if you watch the first part of the lesson, first fret, second string, third fret of the third string, slight bend, open. So let's do the whole introduction so far. Well, can we do it again? And then into the first verse of the song. There again, I'm just putting my ring finger on the fifth fret of the first string. And I'm picking up with my, with my first finger. Let me try to do that again all the way through.
introduction plus one verse into the song. So, kind of a cool way to start the song. It's one reason I like this tune a lot. It's in open G, but he doesn't just stay with the pattern the whole song. He goes off and plays solos. He does some single note, single string stuff. Real, really cool song. So that introduction, one more time. And then into the first verse of the song. So, there is the introduction to Gambler Blues. And then at the end of the song, I'm just going to include the end tag here to keep this lesson short, and then we're going to really get into depth in the two solos. That's the funnest part of the tune. And when he plays the, the ending, it's a typical country blues ending. It just Let me try to play it for you the way I play it. I'll play a verse and I'll, I'll do the end tag. finger on the third fret of the sixth string and my second finger on the third fret of the fourth string. And I'm just pinching them with my thumb and my first finger. From the third fret, second fret, first fret. And I just kind of randomly strum or pick a little bit and then wind up on the G seventh with my first finger on the third fret of the first string. So let me try that again in context. And that's how I end. I kind of... I kind of do this. Where I pinch the open sixth and fifth strings. And then I pick the open fourth third string. have to do it. Let me do the thing again. So I'm pinching sixth and fourth, open for third, with the up pick with my first finger, open fourth with my down stroke with my thumb, and then I get the seventh with my first finger. Now I'm not sure if that's exactly what little son Jackson does on the original, but it's something very close to that. So one more time, let me see if I can get it right. And that's my version of the end tag, and it's very close. This part, the bass, that's exactly what he does, and he ends on the seventh. Just like that. So in this lesson we covered the introduction to Gambler Blues and the end tag or something very close to it. In the next lesson we're going to look at the solos. There are two great solos in this song and when he does the solos he does some things that we haven't seen yet and so this will increase your, your arsenal for playing in open G, give you some more ideas. I'll be back in a little bit. If you have any questions or comments on this part of the lesson, make sure you let me know. I'll see you soon.